In this video, we're going to see if AI can run a 2x2x3 ANOVA between group ANOVA with no repeated measures. So, anxiety is our DV, right? We're looking for significant differences in anxiety scores based on their gender, two levels, their medication, two levels, and then the type of therapy. Hold on a second, get out of here. And then their type of therapy. Three levels, right? So, two by two by three, nominal, nominal, nominal scale. Let's take a quick look. And that's what the data looks like. Okay, so this is what I did. First thing was, I, I wrote out a series of questions that I want the AI, which I'm using Copilot, Microsoft works great, I love it. This is what I, this is what I wrote, right? Please give me the syntax for SPSS to run a 2 by 2 3 ANOVA with no repeated measures. And then I put the variables in there. I don't know if I had to do that or not. Blah, 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 blah. But I mentioned them as the IVs and anxiety is the DV. And I also wanted the write-up of all the main effects, the significant interactions, and simple effects in APA formatting. And also write up the results in layman's terms so that anybody could understand it. Okay, Those were my instructions. Part two, you go back to the data and you highlight everything including the names. You just copy and then we jump over to our... I always put my stuff together in notepad first. Right? All nice and neat. All nice and neat. So now I'm going to highlight everything except for this part, right? So the instructions of what I want to do and the data. And then I copy. And then I jump over to my co-pilot. Pilot. Pilot back there. And we paste it right there. Let's take a look at it. Make sure it's all there. Yep, 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 yep. And then we send it on its way. And wait. Okay, so this is what I entered, and this is what it sent back. So there's the syntax. And let's take a quick look at it. And yeah, it's data, right? So and there's the syntax. So what I do is I go to the copy button. Copy. And then I jump over to SPSS. And I want a file. I want a new syntax sheet. I'm going to paste it, I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to hit the green go button up here. Run, baby. And we should get the output. And lo and behold, there it is, right? So how many in each gender medication therapy group? And there's our means. Let's look at the means. Oh, yeah, you got a lot of differences in the means here. And I noticed it didn't do the gender, male, female, the medication, placebo, and medication, or the therapy types. It put the numbers in. I could live with that. So, but again, the means are all over the place. And here's your money box. This is your ANOVA source of variance table. So, yes, there was an omnibus F looking at the corrected model, which means there's a significant difference in the anxiety scores between those groups. Now, if you got a two by two by three, ANOVA, that's 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. It means you got 12 different groups. So this first F says, yeah, there's a significant difference between the 12 groups somewhere in anxiety scores, but it doesn't tell you where, right? That's where we need to go in to check the interactions and look for main effects, simple effects, that kind of stuff. But, okay, here we go. Gender. Main effect from gender. In other words, was there a significant difference in anxiety scores just based on gender by itself? Yes, there was, right? That's what the sig value means. How about medication? No, medication by itself did not show a significant difference in anxiety scores. Interesting. And therapy. And then uh, therapy, therapy. Let's get this right one. All right, so therapy too showed a significant difference. So in other words, there's a main effect of gender, not a main effect of medication, and a main effect of therapy. And now let's get down to the interactions. Oh my gosh, they're all significant interactions. Gender and medication, gender and therapy, medication and therapy. And the big chimichanga here is all three of them are significantly 
interacting. So what the software did next was it split up the files by the type of therapy. So this is the first type of therapy. This is for the brief therapy. It looks like there's going to be an interaction between gender, right? That's the gender part. And the in and the medication type. That's right. The the blue is the placebo and the red is the real drug. But now let's look at the next level of therapy. So this is therapy two. That would be the augmented. Same thing. They look like they're going to cross. So there's going to be an interaction between, again, gender and uh, whether they got the real pill or the fake one. And then this one is obvious there. They got interactions all over the place. And that's all it does here. But now let's go look at the output from my co-pilot request. Boom. All right, again, so we ran this. Oh my gosh, here's, okay, so here's the APA write-up. So gender, there was a significant main effect, blah, blah, blah. And I noticed it didn't give you the numbers, which we can easily get from the SPSS output, okay? And it doesn't, it doesn't know for a fact that there was or was not a significant main effect. Uh, because if you'll remember, there was for gender, there was for therapy, but there wasn't for medication. So it doesn't give you the numbers. You have to go in there and, and do that manually, I guess, which isn't that big of a deal. And what else we got here? So, and then, oh, interactions. So it's got all the interactions, whether they're significant or not. Same thing. I'm pretty sure you have to look these up and you just fill in the blanks. But this is APA formatting. Baby. And, right, so we got one, two, three, two-way interactions, one, three-way interactions. Write it all up. Simple effects. So it, it gives you the goodies, right? So it says for males, those getting the medication reported lower anxiety levels in the brief therapy compared to the placebo group, right? So that is important. Say that again. For the males, the ones getting the real drug and the brief therapy had had much lower anxiety scales than the people in that same group, but they were getting the placebo and not the real drug, right? And then for females, those females in the psychoanalytic therapy showed lower anxiety on medication as well. So the pill does work for females, but only in the psych psychoanalytic group. And the one above it, it works for males, but only in the brief group. So in plain English, layman's terms, men generally reported higher anxiety levels than women. People who took the medication had lower anxiety levels compared to those who got the fake drug. Um, and the therapy made a difference in anxiety levels. Some therapies being more effective than others. And in the interaction, gender medication and therapy were not independent of each other. In other words, they all interacted with each other. So the medications on anxiety was different for men and women, depending on what type of therapy they received. So that's, that's kind of perfect there. So these findings suggest that both gender and type of treatment, medication and therapy play important roles in managing anxiety. The combination of these factors can influence the effectiveness of the treatment. And I'm going to, I'm going to check one of these things. Um, what are their statistical tests. Wow. So these are other tests that you could have run and hopefully got the same information. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. So I am thoroughly impressed. That's it. MGZ out.